Lola friends, Dapper Driver here. Welcome back to some more pack openings. Today we're on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, which is the online client for the trading card game. If you guys like TCG openings, you may like this game as well. It's an easy way to play the uh, the game uh, be, while being socially distant. You don't have to worry about going to your card shops or anything like that. Uh, but today is official battle style release day. Um, so we got over, uh, we got 250 codes of those, and then on top of that, we got 200 Shining Fates codes. So we have over 460 packs total to open up today um, um, between the two sets, uh, which is Krilla. It's awesome. So we're just going to go ahead, bust into them, try to get them open. If anybody is here on the Twitch side, we will have giveaways every so often. Um, I thought about doing them every like 50 or 100 probably do them every 100 i have about six code lots over here that i can um that i was going to do giveaways for on twitch itself specifically no no youtube giveaway unfortunately guys but let's go ahead and cut over to the card cam which today is different because it's pccgo we're recording it on the computer um but here we go we have battle styles shining fates what am I hoping for the most out of battle styles, you may ask? Um, and that is going to be probably, I want the gold octillery, mostly. Mostly for deck building. I think 250 packs, I should get it. But we'll see, we'll see. Shining Fates, I want the, the Applin line. Um, I want the Phalanx line too, because I'll, I'll build shiny Phalanx. Easy mode. Easy mode, I'll, I'll build shiny Phalanx any day of the week. Let's go ahead and bop into these. We got the build and battle kit first here. And we got the artillery line. Love this artwork. It is beautiful. It's so limber. This one comes with the two cherums actually. Which is also a very good one. That's a, that's a nice pickup. Uh, it means we don't have to search as hard for them. And looks like our level balls are useful again. Here's a new uh, trainer card in Karina's Focus. Draw six cards. Pretty nice. And we have a Rapid Strike Energy. That is one down, three to go to be able to build any of our Rapid Strike decks. What does this guy do besides like have amazing artwork? Interesting. Search for two basics. Not bad. I would probably build this if, uh, if we were doing more. But let's go ahead and bop into these battle style packs. You guys let me know if you guys want to go back and forth or if you guys are just going to go all the battle styles and then all the shining fates. I may just do like 50 at a time though. Like 50 battle styles, switch over to shining fates and then do 50 shining fates. Look who it is. I called who I wanted and he came first pack. We got Flapple V, this shower spit. And he also probably the better card in this pack. Metal Transfer Bronzong, which is a pretty slick. The new Single Strike Bruno. And uh, that's all the major stuff. But Flapple V starting it out. Beautiful. We got a little Houndor. Love the artwork on this. He's, he's really strengthening up by pulling that rock. We got the Fan of the Waves. Uh, put a special energy attached to one of your... Uh, opponent's Pokemon um, to the bottom of their deck. So that's a good way to get rid of the other energies. And then a Bolt Hunt. Alright, well, we're going to start picking this up now. Oof. Unless it builds slowly. Unless it builds slowly. Dangerous Mucus of Weeping Bell. And Victini VMAX. Spreading Flames. Beautiful card. Max Victory. 100 plus. 120 more if your opponent's active is a V Pokemon. You got the single strike mustard. What is this? Tool jammer? As long as this Pokemon uh, as long as the Pokemon this card is attached to has the active bomb. Pokemon tools attached to your opponents have no effect except for Tool Jammer. Except for their Tool Jammer, huh? And then Meowstic has ear moves. Moves its ears once. 
during your turn. It moves, your, it moves its ears. <laughs> Whoa. So you can get four of these up and it's stackable. That's kind of crazy. Move four energies per turn. Plus whatever you attack with. That's kind of nice. Kind of like the idea of that for like a Dragapult deck maybe. Dotler, Pignite. Pignite is a single strike. Uh, Colossal, which is some crazy artwork. Coal Cannon. And a Victini V. So the fun thing about Victini V, Max, is it works with this Victini V and the previous Victini V. Same thing with Tapu Koko. They both got like new cards in this set. Tapu Koko and Victini. So that's kind of exciting. Hone Edge can't be Sword and Shield without the sword. Insomnia can't sleep. Another Karina's Focus, a uh, Vivalon. And a Drampa. Drampa's a rare? Did not know that. We got the Single Strike um, Mawile. But look at this artwork. That is some crazy artwork. With the powerful vice. We got two swords now. Karkul. And an Octillery Rapid Striker. Now we got three of those and only like one Phoebus. Remorade, I mean. <laughs> only one Phoebus. Ball search and Yamper. A Grump Pig. Uh, I don't know if that Onyx is useful or not. I don't know how you get five energies on that Onyx, though, for one. Bulu. And a Primate. Single Strike. Now, in my IRL boxes that I had opened as a break, um, I got a lot of... Uh, nice, Victini Remix. A lot of Rapid Strikers. Stance Change. Switch this Pokemon with an Aegislash in your hand. I'm so confused. We're going to have to pull the other Aegislash so I understand like the difference between these guys. That seems so strange. I, I want to see that interaction. I want to see that interaction. Cheryl, Mustard, Bruno, Steelix. So Cheryl's a good card in this one. Heal all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon. If you do, just call all energy from that Pokemon that were healed in this way. This is going to be good for V-Maxes. A lot of V-Maxes are going to heal all the damage off of them and then just go back to hitting like crazy again. So Cheryl is really what's going to make that possible. Another Rapid Strike energy. Jellicent, and that is like the weirdest art I've seen. It's so squished. I guess that's how it moves. Like a jellyfish, right? And then a Salazzle. 90 damage for each special condition. That's pretty easy to set up for like 180. What does Phoebe do? Because Phoebe has been uh, high on the trade block. During your turn, damage from Pokemon's VMAX attacks isn't affected by effects of your opponent's active Pokemon. I'm not sure how that, that plays out. I mean, it sounds similar to... Um... Ooh, camping gear. Search your deck for a card and put it into your hand. Wow, that's nice. An item search for any card in your deck for no cost. Immediate uh, inclusion in, like, anything. Um, It sounds similar to Pokemon Ranger that was used back in the day to get rid of, like your own effects but um i'm not sure how it how it's going to play out um in the format so that's that's i'm curious about that single strike primate we got 242 left so far our big hits have been in the first few and now we keep getting uh steelix what does cinescorch do whenever your opponent flips a coin for their burn Pokemon during the checkup, it doesn't recover from that special condition, even if the result is heads. So that's fun. That's fun. Overheater. Ooh, love that art for Sizzle P. They're bringing back Bruxious? No! Single Strike Inbor. Fighting stance do 30 more damage for your opponent's active. Seems like a weaker Incineroar, right? 
Unless there's like an easy way to play him with a uh, single strike mustard. I think single strike mustard busts them out quickly, so that's probably what it is. That's probably how that uh, that kind of combines. Oh, look at it! Oh, I want this. I want this IRL. I want this IRL. The Karina's Focus Full Art. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. Nice. Sap Sipper Bouffalant. Love it. Karina Full Art. Can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. Seal Strike Bruno and a Lorantis. We got a Cheryl. Followed by a Vivillon. Uh, here is the Scroll of the Scorned. <laughs> Furious Anger This does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. That is so nice. I wish it attacks attached to more than just single strike Pokemon. That seems nice though. Because that means like every one of these, if you don't knock it out, is like in danger of just attach and swing for crazy numbers that is a crazy tool card i don't know why people i have not heard people talk about it though it's nice to see escape rope back in the format it means i can go back and use this one from burning shadows the only reason it's good to have escape rope back so i can use the burning shadows one clearly clearly lick a tongue reverse with a drampa down to 235. We got Luxio, Weeping Bell, Heat More, followed by a Conkelder. Who do we know that's like a Conkelder? If you guys are interested of where I got these codes from, go check out the Game Capital. I will pop that in the chat real fast. He just uploaded a bunch of codes, so go over there, purchase some. Use code DAPPER to get 5% off of that and Pokemon product that are not breaks. It's been confirmed. Confirmed today. And I'll leave the, the website in the description, guys. I need to add it to my description anyways. Con Kelder. Timber Con Kelder. Rapid Strike, Fan of the Waves. And a weeping bell. Victory bell, sorry. One of those bells. One of the bells. Rapid strike. You can only play this card when it's the last card in your hand. Put rapid strike Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench if you do draw five cards. So that's where it's good with, um, I think the single strike does the same thing. So that's where it's, it, it can be really good with um, Imbor. You can bust Imbor out. Which I kind of, I'm curious, I kind of want to build uh, a single strike similar to Blastoise, expanded Blastoise, and see like where I get. Ooh, there's a good card. This is the first full art I pulled IRL, and it is such a beautiful card. Um, Corviknight full art uh, V. You guys can't see it at all there because of my glare. That's fine though. Really nice art. If I'm going to play Corviknight, this is definitely the one I want to play. I like the flex online, not IRL. IRL, I play minimum. Minimum rare, minimum rarity. Scroll of the Swirls. The Rapid Strike Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attack on this card. It does 30 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon. I'm impressed that they didn't make this a I'm really surprised they didn't make this a fighting colorless though but maybe maybe they tested it out as a fighting colorless and said that's too strong let's give it one more and then it was probably even we got a Phoebe reverse in the form of Meowstic and a Claydol with the power spit attach a psychic energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like 
until your Pokemon and your opponent's Pokemon have the same amount of total energy attached. That's kind of nice for these like big welder decks and whatnot. You can attach the like, giant amount of psychic energies to combat it. Sword and Shieldbert, choose a trainer from your discard pile, then ask your opponent, may I have this? Um, if yes, put that card in your hand. If no, draw three cards. So it's a draw three. And a Corviknight VMAX. Yeah, I heard if you guys do what I used to do with um, Kaparaja and do like a metal box with Corviknight, it's like really hard to knock out. Super hard to knock out. So we'll try building that at some point. Not sure if we're going to be bringing back um, deck techs or not, but it's an option, obviously, as we do still play this game from time to time when we're not playing like other card games right now. We got Rapid Strike Squad, the Phalanx. It's very similar to the regular Phalanx, um, the Shiny Phalanx. There's 20 for each of your Rapid Strike Pokemon in play. Um, now, because we don't have Skyfield in the standard format, that will probably max out at a total of um, 120. But 120, 120 with fighting weakness. Um, so it's not terrible. I'm sure there's some other things you can probably pop up on it to make it a little stronger. Um, but I'm interested to build that with like artillery. We got bronze on. <clears throat> I think I'll build it like my old um, Crabominable deck where I had two artillery, uh, a two two artillery, a three, a four three um, Crabominable, and like five energies, five strong energies, I should say. And I think it can make it work like that. We got the single strike energy. Provides a fighting or a dark energy. And it does do 20 more damage. And a Cinescorch. Love the artwork on this. Not sure about the card itself. It's kind of a bench sitter mon. And it seems like there's gonna be a lot of bench sitter mons coming out of these. Oh my god, Rapid Strike. Shinx is adorable. There's another Karina's Focus. We got the Crobat, which is drastic draw, but I also wanted to look at Tower of Waters, which retreat cost of each Rapid Strike Pokemon is two less. And then Crobat, uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may draw three cards, regardless of your hand size, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. All right, reverse slot. We have ourselves a Rapid Strike uh, Luxray with Electro Step. It's like running across water. That's pretty slick. I'm not going to lie. And then we got the Stance Change uh, Aegislash. I'm still intrigued on what the other Aegislash is. About 20 cards left before we switch over. Experience Share is also back in the format. I was like, I don't know if they have a gold one of that. They have a gold one of that in this set. So I guess we can hope to pull that. It's such a weird looking thing. It's like a helmet, right? It's like a helmet. It's like it's, it's like this. It's like headphones. That like go around your, your whole head, right? We got another Victini V. V bullet. Uh he prone attack was a Pokemon V. This does 50 more damage. Discard any number of item cards that have the word ball in their name from their hand. This attack does 40 more damage for each card you discard this way. Oh my gosh. I need to make this deck first. I need to make this deck first. Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Ball guy. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, another Crobat. And by the way guys, if you guys are feeling like I'm talking too slow, I don't know if you guys knew this trick. I learned it at work when we were learning lean manufacturing. Um, 
put the YouTube video at 1.25 speed. It'll speed up the person talking and you'll get through the video quicker. We got Bruno, single strike, beautiful artwork. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw four cards. If any of those Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw seven instead. So it's a draw four or draw seven. I actually don't find that half bad. Escape rope, escape rope, and a Lorantis. What is your what is your move here? Find it. Search your deck for an item card. Reveal it. And put it to your hand. Find it. Got rapid strike, energy, and a Conkelder. Ooh, it looks like Energy Recycler is back in the format again as well. Here is the Tower of Darkness. Once you turn, that player may draw two cards. Um, in order to use this effect, the player must discard a single strike card from their hand. So it's a Zoroark uh, Stadium. But you have to... It like really only benefits you as long as you only have single strike, inter, single strike uh, Pokemon. And then the Urn of vi uh, Vitality is amazing. Shuffle two single strike energy cards from your discard to your deck. So this is this brings back the old card. Um, oh crap, what was it called? It was like special energy retrieval or something like that. Uh, where you were able to bring back your double colors and stuff. So it's the same thing, but specifically for single strike. I believe there is one sim similar for rapid strike as well. But we have not pulled it yet. Camping Gear, Sap Super Buffalant, and a Victory Bell. I think I have a play set of Victory Bell in the first 50 cards. It's the rare that is my is memeing me. Another Flapple V. I'm gonna laugh if uh, <clears throat> the same thing that happened to me IRL happens to me here. I happen to really like Flapple, guys. Flapple is one of my favorites. Um, Pokemon from this generation um, and yet for this set I pulled zero full arts zero V maxes um, so I find that, that pretty funny um, that IRL I've, I've pulled zero uh, except of the regular V card so and we get a Drampa I think it was two rares back to back let's change it up I think after these two uh, when we get to 200, we're going to switch over to Shining Fates for a half a sec here. We got a single strike Urshifu. We've gotten a lot of the same things in the first 50 packs. A lot of the same exact things in the first 50 packs. Phalanx. Cool. I'm one step closer to building that. It seems. Hone Edge. Primate. Two more to go. Karina's focus. Primeape. Is that Primeape right after another? Was that Primeape and then Primeape? I feel like it was. Oh, this is a card to look at. The Hangry Morpico. I'm out of apples. I'm mad. Put an item card from your discard out into your hand from gathering food. Hangry Tackle. Beautiful name, right? Hangry Tackle. Okay, last one for now. We're going to bump over to Shining Fates, and then we will come back to the battle styles. But let's take a break. Let it rest. Let it gain the ability to <laughs> give us stuff, um, and then come back to it after it's rested for a moment. I don't think the first 50 got us a lot in terms of stuff. Shiny double, so that's nice to look at. This is actually my first opening of Shining Fates as well, everybody. Um, we just didn't get any of it. Reshiram, right off the bat. Boss's Order. Wow. Immediate value. Immediate value in this. Ugh. More Pico. You can collect all the more Pico arts in this one. We have more Pico. Stealing food from Snubble. We have more Pico sharing food with Shuckle. And we got the Greedent. And we got the Greedent. So I might have opened like five packs of this card. 
That's why a lot of cards are new. Indeedy. And a uh, Woodland Stroll Celebi. Rusted Shield. And a Boss's Order. Grookey Coughing Rotom. Rotom's kind of fun. When you play from your hand from your bench, you may search your deck for two item cards with the name Rotom in their name. We got Dartrix. Here I am. Alcremi uh, Rainbow as well. Two Dartrix, one pack though, right? I don't think they said the same thing though. Ball Guy, here we're talking about him. Search for three different item cards that have the word ball in their name. So I don't know if anyone put together that mime and ball go together. You grab three balls and then you throw them at your <laughs> And then you play Yamper for ball fetch, I think, is, is what you're supposed to do. Yamper for ball fetch. Silly Cobra. So far, we got some uh, nice shinies, I would say. Cramorant is not a shiny. Zarud, how Zarud of you? Shank suctioning tuck? Suctioning vines? I'm so, I don't know what that, what does that look like? What does that do? I have no clue. Rillaboom! We got the Rillaboom V. Nice shiny vault. And a Professor's Research. Juniper version. They had to call back to the last uh, format, didn't they? Where Juniper and Lysander were re wreaking havoc. Wow, I feel like I got like three Decidueyes in three packs right there. Ball guy, ball guy, ball guy. Yeah, Mega. Yeah, I'm totally gonna have to try the Mr. Mr. Rhyme Ball Guy deck. Evil Tall, amazing rare for the amazing destructive. I did not know that was its attack uh, uh, effect. Your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Just a flat knockout. You get five energies on this, you just knock out your opponent. That's kind of nice, actually. That's so simple, like of an effect. Just yeah, just knock out your opponent. Ooh, Crobat V Max. We got the Crobat V Max. That's poison. This is a hit and run deck, right? Your opponent's second was not poison. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched. Switch this with your Poke Doll or Weezing. Is that how it works? Switch it with Poke Doll or Weezing. That pretty much solves the problem. Yen Mega and a Reverse Blip Bug. Why is there like so many things? So I have so many things like pulled up. Sometimes you just have too much open. Dreadnought. Rotom, Rotom, Yen Mega. Oof, that's not the, really the rare you want to see, though. Not gonna lie. Dark Tricks followed by a Mr. Rhyme Mad Party. We got the Shiny Rhyme Party here. Shiny Rhyme Party. That's gonna be nice for our Mad Party deck. I love playing like I'm. I'm weird. Everybody, most people like like the same art in their entire deck. I will I like to like get all the different arts of the same card and put it in the deck. In DDV watching over us. And a more Pico V Max. Is this a new art? It looks so similar to the other item. It's like why did you do that? Unless you're gonna make it hangry. It's it's kind of uh what? <laughs> we got the Sidui. A nice little Double Rowlet pack to summon a Decidueye. Excuse me. Ball Guy. Another Ball Guy. A Reshiram. 
followed by the bird that always follows me, Cramorant VMAX. It is always around. I swear, Cramorant VMAX, I, I, it's the Inteleon of Shining Fates for me. Fallix, we got it. We got one. We need three more of these, right? Is that how it works? Three more of these? And is, is there a reason I'm getting so many deciduous? There's not a lot of hollow rares in this set, is there? I feel like there's not a lot of hollow rares. Mr. Mime. Now it matches. Now it matches. Not that I'm ever going to play this Mr. Mime. I guess never mind. I will play that Mr. Mime in my ball fetch deck. That, that's what I'm going to do. I'll play the Mr. Mime, but not in Mad Party. Manaphy. Boom, bada bing. Ooh, another reverse Rillaboom. Followed by Greedent. Let's see. Dude, double Gym Trainer. What does that summon? A Weezing. Double Gym Trainer just summons a Weezing. Did I actually at everybody in my Discord? I actually don't know. We got Crobat V. I did. I did. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Definitely not the card I asked for multiples of. Definitely not the card I asked for multiples of. But I guess I'll take it to Mr. Mimes. Del Mimes V. A rusted sword. Oh, there it is. The gold. The gold Eternatus. The power accelerator. Gold Eternatus. That's nice. Can we double down? Double down on the gold Eternatus? Come on, Gold Eternatus VMAX. Oh, that's not a Gold Eternatus VMAX. That's a Professor's Research. That is the Professor's Research. Shinx. Lysander. So I think we have all our bosses ordered. Right? Bosses order. Complete set. <laughs> Complete set. Yeah. Pretty much now. Pretty much for Lysander bosses orders. I don't even have to redeem the, the code for the Venusaur deck now. <laughs> okay, boss. You can chill. You can chill out now, boss. Unless you're a full art boss, which they did not include in this set for some reason. I'm good. I'm good on the bosses. Let's see another gold eternatus. That's something I'd like. Shiny Vault. Celebi. Nope, no, not, not Shiny Vault again. Not Shiny Vault again. Rusted Shield and a Call for Goons Thievil. Broly Coley. That's kind of a clean Shiny. And then look who we got. The Ditto V Max Max Transform. That would have been cool to get like a double Ditto V Max pack. I would have been here for that. Totally here for that. Cinescorch. Got the full art. Shiny Shine. Cinescorch. Um, looks like nine more packs until we flip back over to Battle Styles. We got a Zarud. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Snarl. Dreadnought. Tropius. Followed by a professor's research. Can can I done yet? Anybody need some professor's research? Apparently I have extras. I have the extra professor's research. Frostmoth. 
A nice little frost moth reprint. Zarud. And a uh, Rillaboom. So two more after this. Ball guy. Celebi, why? There is so much grass in this set. Why did they put so much grass? Shiny ball. Yes, it is. Galarian Rapidash. That is so majestic. I see why that costs more money. I see why that costs more money. Boom. Not a shiny vault. How many reverse Celebes is that now? Because I feel like we saw those two very in close proximity. Alright, we're down to 150 Shining Fates. Anybody in chat? No, it looks like not. So let's go back over to some battle styles. Let's bust these open. <clears throat> get more. We gotta get more. So ball search, actually. When you play this from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a Pokeball card or a Great Ball card or one of each from your discard pile onto your hand. So that is what you do. You scoop up net your Yampers and you, you play. That's... That's going to be a crazy deck. I can't wait to try it. There it is! Flapple VMAX! We did have to reset the battle styles, guys. We had to reset battle styles so I could get my rainbow Flapple. Needed that. Needed that. Now I just need to find it IRL. So here's the other one, Stance Change. Um, and I know you guys can see it in the bottom corner there. The ultimate card to search in this set. Once during your turn, you may switch this Pokemon from HS Slash in your hand. Um, Gigatron Bass during your opponent's just prevents all damage from this Pokemon by attacks from VMAXs. So you use that and then you switch into the other one and then that's like blasted within a giant attack. I don't know how that's going to work out, but boom! There's the card everyone's looking for IRL. Kragger Lunch. It's such a clean looking card. They ate well. I'm going to say they ate well. Single crush crush. Single strike crush. Wow, 240 damage is nuts. That's nuts. That You put that in the gold uh, Eternatus just for a flex, right? While you get destroyed by any Urshifu deck. During your turn, you may search your deck for a single strike energy card and attach it to a single strike Pokemon and then shuffle your deck. So, in theory... You could play Houndoom, Tyranitar, um, and Eternatus. And then, like, just see what happens. Just see what happens. Oh, it's so beautiful. Full alt art Cheryl. All the green in the world. Heal your body up all the way. She's a healer, everybody. A healer. Healer of the soul. Wow. Definitely, definitely, the packs needed a reset there. That was... That is obvious. The packs needed a reset there. Because um, that these are already phenomenally better. <laughs> Pride Phoebe here. Pride Phoebe. Uh, wow. Such a clean card. Just look at the shine. Just look at the shine. Now I can say these codes were worth it. Cinescorch, we've seen you before. But yeah, first ten packs off the off the reset, and we got like two rainbows, and a full art Cheryl, and a T-Tar, alt art T-Tar, which is like one in two hundred and two packs or something strange like that. What a ten packs! That's all I can say about that. What a ten packs! So yeah, Energy Recycler is back. This is good news for anybody that has this uh, this one from uh, Forbidden Light. Yeah, I think it's Forbidden Light. You can use your gold Energy Recyclers again. Rapid Strike Energy. We actually have three of those already. That's nice. Stone Journeys is Single Strike? I may just use them just because. Oh, he's not as good as the other Stone Journeys though. He really isn't. He's really not as good as the other Stone Journeys. 
That's unfortunate. Make a good Stojourner. I just wanted to hit 120 for... I just wanted to hit 120 for one energy. That's what I want from a Stone Journer. 120 for one energy. We got Electro Ball, uh, Tapu Koko here, Spir Spiral Thunder. Does uh, 40 more damage for each energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. It's a good uh, bump back, but it seems like Electric's in a little bit of a tough spot here with um, the Urshifu's out. No one redeemed Hydrate, but I felt like I needed it. We got Gligar. That's a nice little artwork. <laughs> Licky Licky. This one has the weirdest attacks. Your opponent chooses to discard top three cards of your deck or to discard three from their hand. And how do you even say that? Select? I, I don't know. Select, I guess is what it's trying to go. Select. And then pitch. Your opponent switches their active with one of their bench Pokemon. That's just... Licky Licky always is a strange card, I feel. It's always a little bit strange. Um, and it's a question of like... Uh, do I? Yeah. Alright, so I was looking at the, the video length. Victini VMAX! We got three of these guys now. If it'll load... We can play the deck, especially with our five Victini Vs from uh, Sword and Shield base set. Victini V might be the first V that we have completed. Phalanx. Yes, we can build Phalanx deck too. So yeah, this is going to be fun to try to mess around with all these new deck ideas. Vivalon and a Mean Xiao. Mean Xiao definitely goes back into the deck and comes out every so often, which is cool. <clears throat> Tax for one attachment. Cinescorch and Drampa. Basically what I'm asking Stone Turner to do. I could probably do with Mean Shell. Mean Shell actually might be a valid um exact duplicate of like the old Kerbalmidal deck I made before. There we go. Single Strike Urshifu V. I have zero V maxes of that card. Zero V maxes of that card. Have ourselves a Mr. Rhyme Ball Juggling. Oh, don't tell me that's going to be a rare that's hard to get. I'd rather have more of that rare than the Victory Bell, though. Not going to lie. Licky, you licky. The Select. 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 I guess. There we go. Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Uh, full art. Beautiful. Has that strafe attack and 100 furious blows for 150 damage. Which is crazy. What's nice about those is that you attach one and then you attach the Rapid Strike energy. And that's where you get the, the power out of it really. Primate. Single Strike Doom and a Sand Iconda. <laughs> well, I've not seen this one yet. Big Sand Cannon. Discard the top six cards of your deck to stack the 60 damage for each fighting energy card you find this way. Dude, this is Gyarados, right? This is like Gyarados. Oh my god, I'm going to build a Sand Iconda deck that's similar to Gyarados. I really want to. I gotta look at the old Gyarados list for 35 energies. Six times six is 360, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's a ton of damage. Oh, I wanna do that so bad now. Anybody have a Gyarados list I can borrow? I need to build a Gyarados, but make it with Sandaconda. Those are gonna be easy to trade for too. I don't know if anybody's gonna like actively seek that out for their first deck to build. <laughs> Aegislash and Drampa. Stone Journer. 
So I actually got less car less codes of this set, by the way, everybody, because uh, I decided that I thought this set would actually be easier to complete than most of them have been. So it seemed okay to me to get less codes because it's a smaller set. And still have the giant opening because it's two sets together. If that makes sense. Alright, we'll just roll through these. <laughs> Another Galarian Mr. Mine. I love that I've already pulled three of those. And two of them are reverses. We got both scrolls. Con Kelder could have been a single strike mon, right? I think so. I think some of these things they should have. They should have made them. For sure. There should they should have been more single in, in rapid strike mons. Nice. Two two bronzongs. Two reverse, two regular hollows already. Electabuzz could have been a rapid striker. Now this I love I forgot. I love this card. Because its attack is called Haymaker. Haymaker is the deck that Electabuzz was in in the first set of Pokemon. Electabuzz, um Hitmon Chan and was it Chansey? Or was it Scyther? It was Scyther, I believe. Um, because everybody talks about, like, the OG Haymaker mirrors. So I'm so happy that they gave Electabuzz an attack called Haymaker for, th I, I assume, that reason. Because it's part of the history of Electabuzz. Whoa, double scrolls. And a Flapple. And a Flapple. Experience share Tower of Darkness in an Ore Beetle. Mr. Rhyme and a Karina's Focus! The Rainbow! Karina's Focus! Love it. Love it. Pride. Pride Karina's Focus. Love it. Dude, I'm playing that mime deck so soon. I'm building that tonight before I get off, by the way. There's something we like to see. An Urshifu VMAX Rapid Striker. This is the card to look out for, everybody. You'll be seeing it on the trading blocks at high value. That is definitely the... Well, the Chase Mon. There's a specific card version of it that's the Chase card. We got another Inbor. Prime eight. Oh my mouse is getting a little blocked by my Digimon cards. Or Beetle and Licky Licky. Let's us open another. How long should these videos be? I mean maybe I need to just quicken up my speed here because I did wanna keep this not terribly long or maybe I do a part one and a part two artillery I probably do a part one a part two now that I think about it that makes more sense I have 300 left I've opened up 250 hello time woven how are you today buddy so I have 150 a piece each. Do I do a part one, part two of this? I think so. That way I have 300 packs left for the second half of this. So I do want to thank everybody that is watching the YouTube video on this. Be sure if you guys want to see 150 more battle styles, 150 more Shining Fates, be sure to check out the next video. That'll be posted in due time. I'll probably post them at the same time, to be honest. One will be labeled part one, one will be labeled part two. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll bid you guys... Let me just wait for my thing. I'll bid you guys a Lola. I'll see you guys next time with some more 
uh, PTCGO pack openings, and uh, let me know what you guys are thinking of everything. Since I'm trying to like kind of revive this channel from uh, not posting in over I think two years, so it's nice to uh, to see everybody back again. Do not um, I obviously played this game, so don't ask me for any codes. If you guys want codes, come to Twitch. Twitch is where I'll be giving out codes. I'm giving them out on the the Twitch channel to chat active chat members <laughs> at the time. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on the next video.